Hi guys, Domgos here and today I'll show you how to upgrade to Windows 10 and still make it fresh like you install it from scratch. Now generally a freshly installed window performs at its best. But first, if you have already upgraded, don't worry, you can still make Windows 10 completely new on your machine. Here's how. Click on Start, choose Settings, and then click on Update and Security. Here, choose Recovery and then under Reset this PC, click on Get Started. You can have two options. First is to keep your files. The system will erase all of your application and settings, but your data will remain intact. Second, remove everything. Choose this option if you want to have a truly fresh Windows 10 afterwards. Make sure you back up your data first though. After making your choice, click on Reset and voila. The computer will restart and the reset process will begin. Depending on the speed of the computer, it takes between 10 and 30 minutes to finish and then you have yourself a computer with Windows 10 completely new on it. Okay, now move on to a computer that still runs Windows 7 or 8. In this case, you want to avoid upgrading via Windows Update. Instead, you download the tool that enables you to upgrade Windows from a flash drive. Now, the process of turning a flash drive into a Windows 10 installer is quite straightforward. You run the tool, choose to create a media for another PC, choose a language, the addition, and the architecture of Windows 10, and pick flash drive as the media to use. Why a flash drive and not a DVD, you might ask? Well, because a flash drive works everywhere, including on a computer without an optical drive. That's my choice. Note that the flash drive needs to be at least 3 GB if you want it to hold 64-bit or 32-bit Windows 10. If you want it to hold both, it needs to be at least 6 GB. After that, the tool will download Windows 10 and turn the drive into the installer. Now, insert this flash drive into a computer that still runs Windows 7 or 8. Open it and run the setup file. The setup process will start. There are a few steps, but the main one is this ready to install dialog. Here, click on choose what to keep, and then choose to keep nothing, or just your personal files. And that's it. You go on with the rest of the upgrade process, and once it's done, you will have a Windows 10 fresh on the machine, without the apps or the settings of the old Windows. For more detailed instructions on all of this, check out my postscr.com. By the way, you can also boot from this flash drive and install Windows 10 that way. But in that case, you're going to have to buy a new Windows 10 license. So do that only on a new custom-built machine. Once again, I'm Domgo, and this has been a quick how-to on how you can truly start anew without carrying along any baggage.